Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, before I go away on holiday, I've filmed two videos today. I've done my colouring for this month that, you, that I'll release at the end of the month. And then I thought um, I would go through my colouring pencil supplies, all of the pencils that I have. Um, and the reason for this was I was getting ready for holiday and thinking, oh, what do I take? Which ones shall I, you know, what, when you've got to whittle down your supply to the smallest amount to take with you, it's really difficult. So I came, I got all my pencils out and started looking. So I thought we'd do the most popular one that everybody knows and loves is this gorgeous, delicious set of um, Faber-Castell Polychromos. Um, I've had these a while now and I brought them individually open stock and built up my collection. I have got them all now, all 120, and um, I adore them. I really do. When I first got them, I got a small set to try them and I was like, oh, what the hell is all the fuss about? You can't get any colour out of them. But with time and practice, you learn to layer them and the the point and detail that they can give you to do fur and well, all sorts. They're just so versatile. Um, and you don't get that wax bloom with them. You just keep layering and layering and layering. And the colour is just extraordinary. Absolutely gorgeous pencils. Um, I love them to pieces. They are my very precious pencils. Now, if I'd have thought about this, I could have done um, colouring pictures that I've done with them. But... I don't want this video to be too extraordinarily long. When I come back off holiday, I think I will do all my colouring books and show you those too. So there is, um, we're going to go through our most popular ones that everybody knows. And this is my beautiful case from Amazon that keeps them all safe and sorted and in the order that I like them. There we go. Okay, so that's my beautiful polychromos. So let me put those out of the way. And then obviously the next most popular choice that everybody knows, my, my little mouse pencil case, I love this one too, is the poly, uh, poly, is the Prisma Colour Premieres. And these are my well-loved, as you can see, well-used go-to pencils. They're easy to blend, they're soft, the colours are vibrant um, and um, the only downfall with them I think is that they break. Um, they are prone to breakages so you have to be careful with your sharpness. Um, they do have a wonderful colour payoff however you can get um, a wax build up on your page but it's nothing to worry about, you can just wipe it off. So there's all 150 Prismacolor Premieres, my babies, my go-to, and these are my um, my spares, because obviously I've got some real stumpy ones here, my little stumps like this one. So I do use them right down until I can't sharpen them anymore. So 150 Prismacolor Premieres, a top favourite in my another little this has only got the one zip on it um, and you just fold that over but these are all Amazon pencil cases um, you get a pocket at the front for your supplies and a zip at the back which helps to keep them lovely and safe so there's my babies then let's see what should we go to next oh yes we're going to go through the most popular, so the lovely Arteza. Now, I don't use these as often as I should. I do have a case for them, and they are in um, this bright pink one. Um, move those. That's a spare set that I was gifted. A lot of these pencils, before anybody says anything or has a go at me, a lot of these pencils have been gifted. Um, some, of, some for birthdays, um, some for Christmas because I've been colouring um, just over a year now. Um, so I got some for my birthday last year, Christmas just gone, my birthday this year. So these are the gorgeousness that is Arteza. 
and these really are beautiful pencils and I have done a colour along using these we did a Rita Berman page, it was my first ever colour along with you beautiful selection of colours um, they lay down, they blend beautifully I'm sorry, let me move you all in they blend beautifully a couple of downsides I would say is um, as far as I'm aware, correct me if I'm wrong, you cannot get them open stock so that's a bit of a pain in the butt um, what was the other thing I was going to say um, do you know what, I, I can't think of any other downside they've got the light fastness on them they sharpen well, they're not prone to breakages they are a wax pencil so you get some shine on your page when you've coloured them in coloured in with them but let me see if I can find um, the page just because it's close to hand I think this is it nope I'm not going to be able to find it now. No, I shan't waste your time. I was trying to find the Reach Burma page that we, the first ever one that we did. Here it is, I've got it. So this is um, our teaser. The background's pastel, so ignore that. But there is quite, they do, they are very waxy and they do give off a shine. But I'm not bothered by that. They, they lay down beautifully. Beautiful colour result. Um, so another superb pencil. These are far cheaper. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that currently on Amazon they're around £60 for the 120 set. Oh, the other downside, that was it, what I was thinking of was... Um, no, I was going to say that there's not a very a, a vast array of reds, but there actually is, so ignore that. That must be another set I'm thinking of. Beautiful, lovely pencils, light fast, the same as you get with the polys and the um, Prismas, you've got the light fast ratings. Lovely, lovely budget pencil. So that's, um, that was Arteza, 120 set of wax coloured pencils. Right, then our other mo another very popular brand is our Derwent Ink Tents. Well, everybody loves these pencils. I do too, but they do take some getting used to. They're a permanent ink, as the name suggests. They, um, they're not, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Uh, they're watercolour but they're permanent so it isn't I can Indian ink if I've got it right and once they're activated and they dry um, they're permanent they're not going to shift they won't reactivate with your water so let me lay these out and move the tray which is empty these are the gorgeous ink tents now I'm, I struggle to use these because um, I would use them on the Caran d'Ache palette board um, and the oh, amazingly beautiful colours and well, I'm trying to think what did I, oh um, I did the uh, Rory Dobner page, um, let me find it for you, just to give you some idea if you have no idea, um, I did um, it was on one of my month's colouring pages. Um, this page. So this is ink tense. The background is... Um, uh, oh gosh, what's it called? Um, Tim Holtz. You know what I mean. I can't get the words out. But the butterflies and all the rest of it is done in ink tents. And this paper takes it beautifully. I do struggle with them bleeding through. So you do have to test your paper. But vibrant, beautiful and permanent. You can use them on fabrics. So that's just an example of what can be done with them. They're quite expensive. But, you know, with good reason. They last forever. Um, I've, I have used them, I've used them on several pages and pieces and um, I've had them probably one of the longest pencils that I've had other than the Prismas 
and as you can see they still look almost brand new gorgeous delicious colors um, and are very precious um, I think um, I would hate to, to hazard a guess but they're around a hundred pound um, for the full 72 set so that's the case that I keep that in I'm not so keen on this case um, <coughs> because they fold in on each other and you have to kind of keep turning backwards and forwards to see which um, colours you've got okay so that's the ink tents then I've got my poor very much unused Derwent watercolours I love the Derwent in case you didn't know <laughs> and these stay in the case beautiful gorgeous array of colours including if I'm correct is that yeah that's got um, come on yeah flesh pink so you can get some beautiful flesh tones out of this um, and there's the second tray gorgeous greens I don't know why they're upside down. Um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, subtle colours for leaves. Um, let me lift them up and you can have a good look. Really nice. But again, this was the set that I'm thinking of. This set, I think, if you look, there's lots of oranges, but very limited to proper true reds. There's like those two there. Um, so very limited in the um, in the reds and I like reds and oranges and yellows for flowers and botanicals and things like that so that they do have the limitation they are water soluble you can put them on a board and paint with them or colour straight into your colouring books to be honest it's shameful but I can't actually show you a page I think I've done with them I'm not sure so but they are really if you love watercolors these are absolutely fantastic beautifully and beautiful vibrant easy to work with soft to get the colors down everything you could want in a um pencil do they have any light fast on them i don't know this is a very good question i can't see any light fast ratings on them let me put the lid back on we'll have a look oops sorry um, I can't see so I'm not going to waffle on come in all sorts of sets sizes um, set sizes but this is the biggest of 72 and this is the gorgeous gorgeous Derwent then let's move on to my total and utter beloved Neo Colour 2's now these are if I was going to use any water medium, these are the ones I recommend. And this little case was also from Amazon. I've got my little cloth in the front. And then you hear me talk all the time about my um, uh, Karen Dash palette board. Here it is. So you've got rough side here. And on the other side, as you can see, it's smooth and shiny. So you can do your watercolours on there, mix them up and then scrape your pencils off on here so my ink tents and watercolour pencils this is absolutely perfect and that slots in the back of there perfectly another Amazon find, I love this pencil case so um, these are my absolute precious now I couldn't afford the full set when I got them so I think I think I've got the um, box here somewhere. Yeah, I kept the original box um, of. I brought thirty originally because that's all I could afford, and they co they do come spectacularly packaged in a beautiful case. Um, but as I've gone along and I've been gifted, I've managed to collect the whole eighty-four, and. Um, with the exception of the metallics, these are, in my opinion, this is 
second to none for watercolour. You can colour straight onto the page and then activate it. You can do it on the board and use it as paint. There is such an array of colours. Good mixture of all colours. Um, oh, I've, they've fallen loose. Um, that there's, there's, I haven't come across a colour that I um, that wasn't there. And what colour? If you know, if there's a colour you're thinking, oh, that's not quite right, you can mix them because they, <coughs> excuse me, they mix. <coughs> Let me just get a sip of water. They mix just like paints. So if there's a colour you wanted and it's not in this 84 range, you can just mix it up. Now, they do bronze, gold and silver metallics in these. Now I've used the silver and that's actually quite effective. It works really well. But the gold and the bronze do not. Um, they just appear to sort of almost resist the water. So um, if you're going to use the metallics, I really strongly recommend that you put it on your board and mix it up before you apply it to paper. But other than that, I don't have a bad word to say about these babies. They really changed the way that I coloured um, because I was so scared when I first started of ruining books that you can lay down a base coat and put your um, and put your pencils over the top. So this one, which I showed a while ago, the background in this is neo colours, and you can achieve an absolutely flawless blend with just a little bit of patience. Um, absolutely stunning I love them and they work really well in Kirby's books by the way um, where was the other one my lion somewhere around here here he is this was Neo's um, a base for to get the lion going and a base on the trees as well and then the rest you just go over with pencil and you can just gorgeous gorgeous um, results absolutely love them and I wish, <laughs> wish I was sponsored by Karen Dash because I love their products. I really do. So that's my beloved and most precious colouring item, I think. They are. I, I wouldn't want to be without those now. So then, um, talking of Karen Dash, we've then got, these are all the top end ones. Um, and I do have some more budget brands um, to show you and please bear in mind that I haven't paid for these all myself but I do work full time, I work hard and I want to be able to enjoy the money that I do earn so I don't have any other vices other than perhaps spending a little bit too much money on my love of art so these are the Karen Dash Pablos uh, I adore them, they're a hard pencil and um, I think if I'm correct in saying there are a mix of oil and wax, um, they are harder, I would say, than the polychromos, but not the best for blending, but they layer and they do large areas absolutely beautifully. Um, m amazing array of colours, absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't have the full set. I brought these, my husband brought these for my birthday this year for me and um, I brought them open stock and I've got a few missing, um, I think I had about 18 missing of the 120 set but I love them, they're really very precious because they are a very expensive pencil but again look at the colours, you know those greens, I hate colouring leaves um, I have a real issue with colouring leaves and, um, and greens in general. Um, I just find the colours so either way too bright for me and yet there is such an array in here of the olivey earthy tones rather than you know in your face greens. There are those too and you need those of course but you can get some 
amazing results. These lay down and if you were to put, I don't know, let's just just for argument's sake, a, um, a yellow and a red, you would effortlessly have orange. You know, it, they just, there's no working at it to make the colours. I'm trying to see if I've got my, um, this one, um, which was brought for my birthday and I still haven't finished it. It still remains a whip. This is done in um, the Pablo's, Karen Dash Pablo's, and the water, the effect that you get with the water just mixing those in, I don't know if you can pick it up with this light in here, this stupid light again, but I love them, I adore them, I must get around to finishing this picture. So, um, yes, Karen Dash Pablo's. I think they're the only Karen Dash products that I have, but what I have have what I have had of of them, uh, I'm hugely impressed. I mean, you can see why they have the price tag they do. Okay, let's move on to some more budget-friendly pencils. Let me just put those out. I don't want them collapsing and breaking. So I have again. These were a gift. I have the Koei Noor Polycolor set. So I've got the 24 portrait. Not overly impressed with the colours in here. There, you know, there are some pale skin tone ones. What's this one called? Some of them have names, some of them don't, so that's a downside. This doesn't have a name. Um some of them I say some of them are printed with a name on but you know others just have a number they do really honestly trust me so that's the portrait set they've got some nice beautiful earth tones but I'm not you know I don't really like them if I'm honest they're a hard pencil they're oil based and I normally like those but I just really struggle with these I have the 24 um, landscape pencils and that was another thing that annoyed me was that you buy them as portrait and landscape and the colours cross over so yeah these have got names on look like this one this is um, where are we dark ochre can you see yeah so that's so some of them have names and some of them don't. That set does. I know there's a there's a much larger set available now. Um, you can get all in one set. So this is the um, what am I looking at? Uh, I don't know what set this is. <laughs> <laughs> but browns. Um, I was just looking to see if there was a name on it. Like this. Oop, spider. Oop. Go away. Um, it doesn't say what set they are, which is really quite odd, isn't it? Unless I'm being really thick. But anyway, the browns. They're really nice. Nice colours. But again, they're, they're brand new because I, I got them as a gift at the same time and don't like them. And then I've got the grey set. Beautiful selection of greys in here from cool to warm. And they actually say on there, I don't know if you'll pick that up. Uh, cool grey five, warm grey one. Uh, warm grey five so they do actually they are actually named and then they're all just greys it's a real shame that um, I just can't get on with them I know people love them but I just no, I just don't so these are more of a budget brand I can't remember how much I paid for them but they're widely available on, on Amazon and other stores a downside is as far as I'm aware I haven't seen anybody in the UK at least that sell them individually. So that's the Koinor Polycolors. Right, now let's move on to this one. 
Now, if you've followed my channel, you know I've raved about these pencils. They're actually not in there. I've got them in a pencil um, storage, um, like a sort of stacking shelf thing I've got them in from Amazon. But um, these are the Crayart. They look very much like the Castle Art pencils, but these are oil based. They are numbered, they are named, um, set of 120 and I paid £30 I think, £39. Um, these are amazing. For a budget brand pencil, if you want oil pencils, go on Amazon and you have to put in Crayart. If you put in pencil, they just don't, you know, coloured pencil, they won't come up. You've got to specifically put in Crayart. The range of colours is outstanding. I mean, I've just picked up a handful of greens and look at them. They're just gorgeous. They colour, um, the colour that they give you is, if I can find it, I shouldn't have put that book back. I'm pretty certain it's in that book. Um, in this one. Um, somewhere there this page was done with the cray art pencils they're very they are quite um sh they they do have a shine on them but they are oil but they're smooth they're creamy um, a fantastic array of colors lovely reds um browns grays just everything a really really good mix of colors for a 120 set, they don't break. Um, I don't know about light fa fastness, it doesn't say. Um, but a, a downside to these again is they are not available open stock. So you would have to buy a whole nother set if you run out of a particular favorite pencil. But that will take a while and at, at £40 um, they're not going to break your budget if you know to put aside some money for the next time you need some. Anyway, I'm going to open this to my most disastrous set of pencils. So here's the crayon tin and it's hinged so that was really nice and it did have trays in it but I took them out and I put these in bloody things <laughs> these are beautiful beautiful array of colors but they're in here I don't normally treat my pencils like this they're all like treated like gods but these are the shuttle art um, they are have numbers and colors these are supposed to be wax pencils let me get a piece of paper um, they're supposed to be soft wax pencils they're a set of 160 beautiful colours and can you see they feel really smooth when you start they, trouble is when you want to keep layering they just won't so unless you're willing to you know, you've got to put press down hard and put your first layer down and have, and have done with it. They just will not layer up. They were really cheap. I cannot remember how much they cost. They are available on, on Amazon. Um, now, if you're not into layering and you just want to put your colour straight down, go for it because um, they would be great. However, I would prefer, I don't have the Crayolas, but I would have the Crayolas over these any day. They do have the metallic colours. 160 but obviously as you would imagine there's some repeats in there so yeah I, some pencils that I wouldn't recommend the um, shuttle art then I have oh excuse me bending down to get these next ones these are all budget range dusty because they've got relegated since I've had uh, obviously my Prismas and my Polys. These are Zena Colour. Again, extreme budget pencils. 120 coloured pencils in here. Um, again, um, 
no light fastness. These are not as bad. Yeah, they're not as bad. In fact, they're quite a nice pencil. They'll fade out. They do layer. Very cheap. I can't remember how much I paid for them. Um, three trays of gorgeousness. But again, in this set, lots of pinks. And these reds, they look red. They're not. They come out pink. The colours don't match the barrels. Um, you cannot buy them individually. There's no light fastness on them. You have to follow a swatch very carefully because, for example, this one is supposed to be... Oh no, it was a peach, I think. Peach Puff. This one is called Peach Puff. No, I, I'm, no I'm lying. Ignore me. They do come out. Um, oh yeah. No, I'm right. It's, it's called Peach Puff. Let me just scribble on a piece of paper. And what I'm trying to say is that the colour on the... I'm sorry about the shadow, it's awful. The colour on the pencil is nowhere near matching the shade. I mean, that looks pink. If you put it, if I put it up against here, it looks pink, but it's actually peach. But, so, you'd have to follow your swatch really very carefully because they're not the colour of the pencil. But that, you know, doesn't bother some people. You can, you've got the names. Um, they do have a number, so you could code them on your swatch book and get away with it. That's the Zena colour. Um, I do have my very first... Oh, excuse me. Oh, they're on my bottom shelf. Dusty. My very, very first set of pencils that I started colouring with is the um, Castle Art. And the only downside to these pencils is you can't buy them individually. Uh, they are beautiful. They're well presented in a good case. Gorgeous set of colours. Really beautiful colours. I think that's it. Three trays. Yeah. Again, a bit short on the reds. They do break. But not so much. Not so bad. These were my first set of colours, so when I was first colouring, I thought that you had to press down on the paper like there was no tomorrow. So it wore them down quite quickly. But I would highly recommend these as a budget pencil. Do you see what I mean about the similarity between these and the crayons? Look, they could almost be by the same company, and they may well be. I know there's a lot of brands out there that... Um, they sort of rename themselves, don't they? So Castle Arts, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous pencils and really very affordable. They have gone up in price since I brought them because I think they've gone up in popularity. But good on them because they're really good. The only, like I say, the only one thing that would bother me is not being able to get them open stock. So that's those. Oh my God, this is... It looks horrendous because I've got that many, but um, like I say, they're gifts. I work hard, I play hard. <laughs> so I have the Black Widows, all of the sets, Skin Tone, Cobra, Black Widow, and what's the other one? Um, that's the Skin, Cobra, Black Widow, what's the other one? You'll all be screaming at your scorpion. Absolutely gorgeous pencils. Amazing. And you can buy them open stock through Facebook. Um, if you go and join the Facebook group, the Black Widows Facebook group, and email them, they answer you within minutes. They're amazing. They um, And you can buy them individually. You just let them know what you want. They'll give you a price and they'll send them out to you. I love these pencils and would use them a lot more if they all had the dipped end. I find it very hard to um, colour with them but when they're all black. You know, and if you're picking, say, three colours, I don't know, close together to do a, a three colour blend, Ooh. say for argument's sake, and you've got those on your desk like that, do you see what I mean? I'm trying to find one closer, you know, 
and you've got them lined up, ready to go, it's, it can be quite difficult to know which ones you're going with. You don't always want to have to focus and you know look at that oh what I'm using nugget this time and what was that one and I struggle with that you if you know from my videos so that I would say is the only downside to them is the fact that they are all black I'm hoping that the new set of 48 um, that are coming out in the UK at least early August have these dip tens because I would just be in love they would just be for me the perfect pencil so yeah there's those okay oh I'm just trying to fit those back in otherwise I'm going to be in a hell of a mess let's move those out of the way the other really budget brand ones that I wanted to show you are the Brute Funner Brute Funner 120 oil pencils again uh, no I don't like them they don't they don't layer very well um, yeah I don't know why we go through this where we think you know this is when you first start coloring anybody that oh, buy me some pencils I've seen these I'll have those as a kid and I just think that you know you think oh it'll make my coloring better if I have those but nice array of colors They've got a funny smell to them. No names. Let's have a look. That I can remember. No, no names. Just the number. Very, very cheap. Um, but I, I, you know, for starting out, they're absolutely fine and practicing. But um, I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend them as a long-term thing. If I if I was going to recommend a first time pencil it would be the Castle Arts or the Cray Arts without a shadow of doubt we're coming to the end now folks, we are so you've seen my beautiful Derwent pastels in the few colour alongs that we've done and you'll see the colours they're in a bit of a mess because I was going to put them in a pencil case to take away on holiday but I decided actually they'd be safer in the tin um, yeah, so you will see my end of the month colouring pages that I've done with them. They are capable of magnificent things. Can buy them open, open stock. They are, as you would expect from Derwent, they're nice, thick, solid wood. Smell gorgeous. Um, there is a downside to them though, and that is um, the wood is very, very hard. So trying to get, uh, trying to sharpen them is quite difficult. They, they do sharpen. They sharpen to a nice point if you use the correct pencil sharpener. I've just got the Derwent pastel sharpener. We've got the dipped end. Everything you would expect from Derwent. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. I love them. I've fallen in love with them. They are just an amazing medium. Um... And I'm not going to struggle through all my piles to, to show you the picture that I've coloured in. I think you've been sat long enough. But um, when I release the end of the month video that I did earlier today, um, you'll see the images that I've, I've coloured with these. I'm thrilled to bits with them. Colourage Wild, um, Hannah Carlson and uh, Cardstock. They worked amazing. So, yeah, I'm absolutely loving those. And then, these little babies might have fallen in my shopping cart. I know. These are the Stabilo Carbothello chalk pastel pencils. Now, I just, because Derwent only have 72, it's quite nice to have a mix of others. I haven't swatched these. All I've done is put some blank paper in the top to protect them because I'm going to take them on holiday. And here they are. Um, so I haven't done anything with them yet. Much thinner than the Derwent. Nice dipped end. They feel really good to hold. More like a Prismacolor to hold. Um, casing's lovely to protect them. And you've got a nice material to keep them safe and in the set this was only the 48 set 
you get an eraser, a needed, a needed eraser. It's called a rubber on here, um, and a little pencil sharpener. Where are you? There you are. And a um, paper tortillion. This is a really good one. It's nice and firm. A good one. So I'm thrilled to be taking those on holiday and trying them out. So I watched the Art Gear Guide and it was him that was saying, you know, for a cheaper a cheaper set of pastel pencils that are very expensive. And these are one of the cheaper sets of pastel pencils you can get. But he loves them and, you know, said that they sharpened. They, there was much less breakages sharpening them. And he used the um, crank handle sharpener and they sharpened beautifully okay so that's my new addition to the family the um, Stabilo Carbothalo now the only other thing I have to show you is um, a gorgeous gift from my friend my best friend um, I'm just going to take the price off because it's not a reflection of what they are now I couldn't tell you currently what they retail for in the UK because um, I didn't buy them. I was gifted these um, yesterday by my best friend. She's been sorting out her bits and we've been swapping craft things. So she gave me the WH Smith 36 watercolour pencil set. These are brand spanking new. Look at this. Hinged lid. Um, so quick drying, bright transparent colours, used with watercolour paper and boards. Um, and it says at the bottom here, colours make my heart sing, how lovely. Now I know, I don't know about the watercolours, but they're all still sealed, look. I think I might swatch them on camera with you, sorry about the glare. Gorgeous colours for a little, what did I say they were, 36 sat. That's a really good array of colours in there. So I think I might save those and swatch them online with you because I know that people have said how wonderful the WH Smith pencils are. So doesn't that just bug you when you get labels stuck on your boxes? So we'll do that on camera again, uh, camera together. So thank you, Lisa, for my gorgeous gift. Right, I just want to check. I think. Pencil wise, I think that's enough, isn't it, guys? Um, but don't forget, some of those are water mediums in there too. So, yes, that's everything. That's my little shelf empty. So, that's my entire colouring pencil supply. Um, I've got other supplies, obviously, but um, I, what I want to do next with you is all my colouring books. So, I think I'll split that into two and we'll have colouring books I haven't coloured in and the ones that I have. So I'll let you go. I've waffled on long enough. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I am away on holiday this week um, and the internet is sketchy where we're going. But as soon as I receive it, I will answer you. So please don't feel it's, it's not worth sending it because I will get back to you. So anyway, guys, I'll let you go. Take very good care of yourselves. Enjoy all your colourings and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.